I have been eyeing this ILNP holographic nail polish for a while. And I just got this one. My nails are pretty roughed up. I'm not real good at that part. It might be a little too roughed up. We'll see how smooth this goes on. And I'm not putting a base coat on. They do recommend you can do a white base coat or a black base coat to get different colors. But I'm going to see what it looks like with no base coat. And then I am doing a, a top coat. Not professional here. This is the first of this polish I've bought. like the brush size for my nails. I'm going to cap your nails. That's where you go across the edge like that. It's definitely a very strong nail polish smell. I usually use gel. It does not have as strong a smell. I don't know about you, but I usually try to do thinner coats instead of thicker and more of them. just feel like I get better, longer lasting polish. Seems like kind of a quick drying polish to be honest. I'm gonna put this next coat on thicker. It does not seem like the kind of polish that wants to go on thin. So we're just gonna go with that then. I would say with no base coat I have a pretty good coverage with just two coats. I am doing a much thicker second coat just because it seems like it wants to go on thicker. Two coats definitely covered very well without a base coat. I don't think this needs a base coat. I have kind of a milky clear glass coat that might affect the shimmeriness of it, but oh, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's going to. In this lighting, it looks like pink that transforms to brown instead of green. I think it's forgiving if your nails aren't super, super smooth because of the glitter. You will see how it holds up. The longer I wear it, the more I like it. The first video I made when I put it on. I didn't like the lighting I was in, but um, it's really cool how it changes colors. If you would like to purchase it, there's a link in the description. We get a small commission and it would really help us out.